Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Mother Nature and Me class. I'm here at the garden. It's a drippy, rainy day. Luckily, it's not raining right at this moment, but it was raining very hard just not long ago. Maybe you heard it from your house. So today's all about rain. I'm going to talk about the magic of rain, where it comes from, the whole cycle. Did you know that planet Earth is like the best recycler ever? Planet Earth knows how to recycle. Planet Earth recycles the water. So it can be the muckiest water, salt water, dirty water, any water. And the sun will evaporate the water up into the sky, turn it into little water droplets, that's called evaporation, and then it'll, it'll turn from the gas back into water droplets in the sky and form a cloud. And when the cloud gets too heavy, it'll rain. And all of that water, no matter how dirty it was, it will come down purified and clean rainwater. So it's pretty amazing, the cycle of water, how it works. So we're gonna talk about rain today. We have a rainy day project. And this is actually, um, I guess I'll tell you what supplies to grab for now um, while everybody's logging on. We're gonna make rainy day windows. You see that? It looks like a window, right? And actually, I, I didn't do this fully right. I'm supposed to have the white going all the way around to make it look like a real window pane. So we'll do that together. But this is one that I made last night. Pretty cool, huh? So you just, um, you just wanna grab a piece of paper, some paint, paintbrush, and tape. Like a painter's tape would be good, or um, I mean, any tape will work. A duct tape would be okay. Decorative tape is what I used. Just like a brown decorative tape like that. Okay, so you can go grab those supplies, and while we're waiting, I will do a little project with you, and this is something that you can do at home with your family. It's pretty fun so that you can understand how rain works. So I have with me an empty clear bowl and some hot water, okay? Now, the hot water is going to represent the water on the earth that's heated up from the sun. So I'm gonna pour this into here and you can see it's steaming hot. You see the steam coming up? That's already the evaporation starting to happen. So the sun heats up the water and the water starts to evaporate. Now I'm gonna put green uh, food coloring in here just so that we know which water is soiled this is the this is the groundwater soiled okay now this little empty bowl here i'm going to place it right in the center but it's not going to have any water in it it's empty it's just going to float in the center of this bowl and i'm going to cover this whole thing with cling wrap and what this does is it creates like a um an atmosphere and our clouds are represented by ice. I'm gonna take a few pieces of ice and put them right on top of this whole thing. So as the steam rises, right, the evaporation, as it goes up into the sky, it's gonna hit the cooler temperatures, which is this, the ice. You see that? So the ice is like the clouds. Now, as we do our story time and our craft project, by the time we're done, I'm gonna show you this again, and you'll see that, this, that the soiled water, the green water, has evaporated, hit the cooler temperature above, and it has dripped back down into the little bowl in the center, and it's no longer green, it's clear and purified. And that's pretty cool, that's the natural process of of the water cycle, how it works. That's how we get rain. So we're making it rain in a bowl, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side and we'll come back and look at it later. All right, very good. Oops. Now, oops. 
Good morning, everyone. Hi. Okay, so I showed you our craft. We're going to do rainy day windows. And I have actually two stories I'm going to read. They're pretty short. That's why I did two. And I don't have a rain story, but I have a story about veggies, how veggies grow, and we need the rain for our veggies to grow, right? We need the rain for our crops to grow, our fruits and veggies. And another book about animals in the garden, and the animals rely on the rain too. So not only do we rely on the rain for our crops to grow, for the plants to grow, the trees, everything in nature relies on rain, but all, and also the animals. So in honor of the rain, we're going to do these two short stories, one about fruits and veggies and the other about the animals. Okay, here we go. This one is short, but, but cute. It's called Up, Down, and Around. In the dirt, we'll dig a row, drop some seeds and watch them grow. See them planting seeds? That's how it all starts, right? With a seed. Dirt piles up, seeds go down. Water splashes around and around. Dirt piles up, seeds go down. Water splashes around and around. Cute, oops, hold on, skip the page. Corn, which way does corn grow? Up, corn grows up, carrots grow down. Corn grows up, carrots grow down. Cucumbers climb around and around. Have you ever seen cucumbers climbing around? They kind of wind. <laughs> Which way do peppers grow? Peppers grow up, potatoes grow down. Peppers grow up, Potatoes grow down. Pumpkins vine around and around. See the pumpkins? Broccoli grows up. Broccoli grows up. Beets grow down. Green beans wind around and around. I think we have some green beans growing here at the garden right now. Okra grows up. Onions grow down. Tomatoes twine around and around. Mmm. Love fresh tomatoes from the garden, right? Fresh and tasty. Get a bunch. Pick some, pull some. Let's have lunch. Pick some, pull some. Let's have lunch. See all those fruits and veggies they picked from their garden? And they went straight from the ground onto the table, farm to table. Awesome, cute little book. And none of it would be possible without water. Okay, the second book is called Over in the Garden. And now this is the animals because the animals really rely on the rain too. The animals rely on the plants, the plant relies on the rain. It's a big cycle. Here we go. 
over in the garden in the early morning sun lived a mother praying mantis and her little mantis one. You guys can help me count. This is a counting book. So we're going to start at one and we're going to end at ten. So I want to hear you counting. A mother praying mantis and her little mantis one. Pounce, said the mother. I pounce, said the one. So they pounced and they hunted in the early morning sun. The praying mantis. Over in the garden where the sunflowers grew lived a mother ladybug and her little beetles two. Crawl, said the mother. We crawl, said the two. So they crawled over petals where the sunflowers grew. Look at those ladybugs. Those are so cute. We have a lot of ladybugs here at the garden too. They like to live on the cotton plants. Over in the garden, near the old shady tree, lived a mother dragonfly and her little dragons. Three. Zip, said the mother. We zip, said the three. So they zipped and they zoomed near the old shady tree. And we do have some beautiful dragonflies here at this garden. I've seen them hanging out by the pond. Yeah, beautiful blue purplish dragonflies. Over in the garden on the damp earthy floor lived a quiet mother snail and her baby snails. Four. Slither, said the mother. We slither, said the four. So they slithered and they slid, slid on the damp earthy floor. The little snails. Over in the garden where the apple blossoms thrive lived a colony of bees and her little bees five. Buzz, said the workers. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they flew where the apple blossoms thrive. Over in the garden, where the vines and berries mix, lived a little mother spider and her baby spiders. Six. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the six. So they jumped through the garden where the vines and berries mix. Whoa, look at that spider. Over in the garden where the flowers grow towards heaven lived a mother butterfly and her caterpillars. Seven. Nibble, said the mother. We nibble, said the seven. So they nibbled and they climbed where the flowers grow towards heaven. Over in the garden by the old wooden gate lived a mother roly-poly and her little babies eight. Roll, said the mother. We roll, said the eight. So they rolled and they curled by the old wooden gate. And we have an old wooden gate here at the garden. Lots of roly-polies hanging out over there. <laughs> Over in the garden on a long curly vine crawled a group of soldier ants and their little workers. Nine. March, said the soldiers. We march, said the nine. So they marched and they crawled up the long curly vine. Okay, last one. Over in the garden where the moon shines again lived a mother firefly and her little beetles. Ten. Glow, said the mother. We glow, said the ten. 
So they glowed and they flashed where the moon shines again. See all the little fireflies? Beautiful. Okay, the end. Super cute. Did you guys like those stories? So it's all about water today, like I said. So we learned about the plants. The plants need the rain water to grow and the animals rely on the water as well and they rely on the plants which rely on the water. It's all a big cycle. So I have our little experiment here. For those of you who were not watching earlier, we took some hot steaming water which represents the water on the earth being heated up by the sun and we put some food coloring in it and then we put an empty glass jar in, on top of it, just floating in it. And then we put ice on top to represent the cool clouds above and the cool atmosphere. So when the water evaporates and it hits the clouds, it's going to drop back down into the empty jar as clear, purified water, good enough to drink. So I can see it happening, but it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to put it to the side for now. And let's start our art project. You all ready? So if you weren't watching earlier, you just wanna grab a piece of paper and some paint, a couple of paint brushes and, um, and tape, okay? We're making rainy windows for these rainy days we've been having. Everybody ready? Let's do it together. So you know, first start with your tape. The tape is going to make like a window pane. You see this? After you peel the tape off, it's going to be like that. So first make a cross right down the middle to look like a window pane. Okay. One. and two, like that, okay? Now, you also, it looks kind of cool, I saw online, if you actually frame the whole thing. So if you take a little bit of tape and put it all the way around the frame of the whole paper, then you'll really have like a window effect. So I'll do that too with you. Tilt this down so you can see a little better. have to let me know what rainy day projects you've been doing at home with your mommies and daddies. Okay, so you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, this is our window. Now, we're going to make a painting and let's think, hmm, what would we see if we looked out the window when it was raining? Hmm, maybe, well, we would definitely see raindrops coming down, right? Maybe we would see some clouds in the sky, some thunder clouds. Um, maybe we would see a rainbow. So your picture can look however you want it to look. I'm gonna draw a rainbow. So I'm gonna start with blue for a blue background. And I'm going to add a little bit of black to make it a darker, kind of cloudy looking rainy day. Squirt some blue out. And some black. All right, and you're just going to paint right, right over the tape. Okay? So like this. Okay. 
this can be a very fun, messy project too. All right, so we have a nice blue, grayish blue background because it's rainy outside, right? And if you wanted to add um, a little bit of white, you can make it... Oops, my white dropped. Hold on one second. just to give it some more texture here. Okay, so that's my background, like that. And the tape is underneath, I painted right over the tape. Now, I'm going to add, well, I'm gonna make a rainbow, like I said. So what colors are in a rainbow? Can you guys tell me what colors we have in a rainbow? We have red. So I'll squirt out some red. What other colors do we have in a rainbow? We have orange, a little bit of orange, yellow, We have green. We have blue. And indigo and violet. So I'm just gonna use purple. There's a fun way that um, I learned a while ago to remember the colors of the rainbow, you pretend like it's a, a person and his name is Roy. <laughs> Roy G. Biff. Red, orange, yellow. G for green. Biv, B-I-V. Blue, blue, indigo, and violet. Roy G. Biff. <laughs> That's the rainbow guy. <laughs> That's a good way to remember all the colors in the, in the rainbow. Okay, so I'm gonna start painting I hope you guys are painting along with me. I can't wait to see. Now a rainbow is really interesting. Rainbows happen. Do you know how they happen? When do they happen? Rainbows happen after it rains, right? So how does that happen? Is it magic? <laughs> Rainbows happen when the sunlight hits the droplets of water that are in the atmosphere and, um, and reflect. And the water actually slows down the speed of light a little bit and causing the, the light rays to bend, which causes a rainbow. So it kind of is a little bit of magic, a little earth magic. So it's been really nice getting to see everybody over the past few weekends. We're finally open on the weekends again. So happy to see all your faces. Um, I did want to mention though that this weekend, this, this coming Saturday the 6th, we are going to be closed to the public because we're going to have a um, maintenance day. It's a work day, so we're going to have tree trimming going on and construction. So we'll be open again on Sunday, Sunday from 11 to 2. My colors are kind of mixing a little bit because I didn't let the base dry too, too well. 
15 секунд. what I got so far. Now the real magic happens when we pull the tape off. So just keep painting and we're gonna pull the tape off together. You'll see how cool it looks. All right, so I have red, orange, yellow. I need green. You guys should tell me what topics you'd like to cover for the next Mother Nature and me. That would be helpful. I'd love to hear what you want to learn. I thought rain and the cycle of, of rain would be appropriate for today because it's been so rainy. But um, what are you curious about? What do you want to learn? I want to learn about snakes. You want to learn about... Uh, I don't know. Music? Sound? Let me know in the comments what you want to learn about. Not that I know it all. I'll have to do some research, but <laughs> I love learning with you guys. It's fun. All right, my rainbow's almost done here. That's good. And then I think I'll put a little bit of yellow up in the sky because the rain shower is over and the sun is starting to come out again. So I'll add a little bit of yellow up in the sky. Sorry if it's loud in the background, guys. There's garbage trucks and all kinds of stuff happening. All right. So we have a rainbow. We have a dark, cloudy sky in the background. And we have a little bit of sun coming out. Good enough. Good enough. You guys finish your pictures? Okay, let's peel off the paint and see how our rainy windows look. Oh, I forgot one thing. Wait a minute. I want to add the raindrops. That, that gives it a really nice effect. Last. Thing. So you're going to take the white paint. I would do blue, but I don't think the blue is going to show up as good. So I'm just going to use little white paint and make little specks. And that will be like the raindrops coming down like that. You see the little raindrops? So let's do those kind of all over the paper. Okay, like that, you see it? Okay, now that's a rainy window. Let's, okay, let's take the paint off now. Really, you're supposed to let it dry, but I think uh, that will take a little bit too long for this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off. Let's see if you guys can see. Can 
me see. Okay, one piece off. This is like one of those oddly satisfying things to peel this paint off. I mean, to peel the tape off. Okay, you ready to see my masterpiece? Oh shoot. So I think my tape was pretty strong. It started to rip the paper a little bit. Ah. All right, not perfect. My paper got ripped a little bit. It's because I didn't let it dry, but you get the idea. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Looks like a rainy day window. So if I put my old one that I did yesterday next to this one, we got a whole scenery going on. A tree outside and a rainbow. <laughs> this is awesome, I love this project. Okay. Well, now let me just grab my uh, water experiment for you real quick. Now, I take off the saran wrap that we had. Look at that. This is the green water from the bowl. And this is the, it's actually clear, but it looks green because it's being reflected from this bowl. But it's actually, it's actually clear. I'm getting the reflection. But that's how the rain works. The water evaporates up and drops back down onto the earth as purified, clean water. Good enough to drink. It's pretty amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and maybe learned something. Have a beautiful Thursday. And like I said before, we're going to be closed this Saturday for maintenance. But I hope to see you on Sunday. Okay? Have a good day, everyone.